Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Hey, I'm Rachel Hockett, and I play the teddy bear on the Mother Goose Club. In real life, I'm a mom to two kids, Olivia and Bradley. Our family loves singing songs together, especially kids' songs like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I love that singing helps kids to learn new words, and it helps with their brain development as well. In this video, I'll walk you through how to sing Twinkle Twinkle with your kids and show you some hand motions to do along with the song. <laughs> it's okay if you don't have the best singing voice. Your kids will wanna sing with you no matter what. Let me show you how my family sings Twinkle Twinkle and then I'll teach you the song and show you how to do the hand motions step by step. Twinkle Twinkle Little how I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Good job! <laughs> we love to sing all over the house, but no matter what, we try to look at our kids while we sing. Making eye contact teaches them how to communicate and helps them to bond with you. So get that beautiful face ready because now we're gonna sing and motion the song step by step. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. There's no wrong way to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You and your kids can change up the words or motions anytime. Sometimes people send us photos and videos of their show me how moments. Let's take a look at how some other families sing Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in clips. And keep it up because singing is so great for kids. It breaks down the sounds of words so that they can learn them better, and best of all, it helps you and your child connect. So start singing, and when you do, grab a photo or a video so that you can send it to us. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Plus, our YouTube channels have more Twinkle action ready for you and your kids. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type in comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Twinkle on everybody, and we'll see you soon. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. High five! <laughs> Went up the water spout, down came the rain and washed the spider out. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and this is my daughter Sterling. She's one year old. Sterling and I love to sing together. One of Sterling's favorite songs is Itsy Bitsy Spider. <sighs> It's really easy to sing, and you can do hand motions along with the song. I'll show you how. <laughs> Singing by itself is great, but when you add the motions, kids get involved in a new way. Moving wakes up whole sections of their brains. I'll show you the motions step by step, but first, here's how Sterling and I sing it together. The Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. 
out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went off the zone again. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! This is an especially great song because there's a story in it. The itsy bitsy spider gets washed out but keeps trying and climbs up the spout again. Simple stories like this teach kids the basics of plot and characters. That's why Itzy is one of my favorites. Now let me show you the song and motion step by step. The first line is, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. So you take your thumb and your middle finger and opposite middle finger and you just climb them up like this. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Make your fingers falling rain like this, and then wipe it away. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Take your hands and make a big sun circle overhead. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again, just like we did opposite thumb and middle finger to climb up. So let's put it all together. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Now don't worry if you forget a word or emotion. What matters is that you're singing with your child. And before you know it, your kids will be singing and moving right along with you. Fans help each other out. Show how you sing with your kids by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club. And please help us make more videos for families around the world by commenting and subscribing. Thanks for watching and start singing. Sterling. Hey. hey. Went up the water spout. Okay. Never mind. Hi. The itsy bits. It's the spider. <laughs> Woo! The <laughs> the it's <laughs> the spider went up the water spout. Sun and dried up all the rain. And the it's the it's the spider. Come. Come. Come here. Come here, babe. Let's sing. Hi. You want to sing? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Yeah, let's do this. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Yay! Today we're learning all about musical patterns. This is a really fun activity for your kids to get those creative juices flowing and just to have a blast. You can use any instruments you already have laying around the house or you can make your own with simple pots and pans or create your own little shaker. Today we are gonna do rhythmic patterns. Do you guys remember what patterns do? Patterns repeat themselves. All right. They, themselves. Good job, all right. Well, we are gonna make musical patterns that repeat themselves using our instruments. Y'all ready? Yeah. We think of patterns as visual patterns, but there's so much more than that. There's also rhythmic patterns. You ready? Okay, copy mama. Good, now listen again. harder, wasn't it? When you answer what comes next in a song, a beat, or a rest, it also helps kids learn pattern recognition. Alright, you want to try it, Rach? Uh huh, it's two times. Good! Here we go. 
Okay? Can you do that? Me yeah. All right. Wait, I don't know. Okay, One, two, listen again. Three. I'll do it one more time. Are you ready? I know. Let's do it. Good job. Yeah. This is a great way for them to learn how to put together music and also to dance and just have fun. I know you I like that. This. Okay. Good. Nice. I'm gonna try. Tell me if I'm doing what you did. Yes. Is that right? shows music and math are intertwined in our brains from an early age. From the clap, clap, clap of hands as you play patty cake with your baby, or banging on the pots and pans, they are all linked to your child's early math skills, like counting, patterning, sequencing, and spatial awareness. Well, tempo is how fast or slow something is. So we can play something really slow, like this. Or we can play something Really fast. Wait, go. Woo! That made me want to dance. Oh, <laughs> Good job, really buddy. Loud. Speaking of loud, is it soft or, or loud? Good. Can I do it soft? I want to do it. Teaching patterns through music will not only be a fun family time, but likely benefit your child's cognitive and physical abilities down the line. Playing instruments bought or homemade also helps develop smaller hand muscle movement and hand-eye coordination. This is a playful way to practice fine motor skills. I have another idea for us. How about we do some rhythmic patterns using our bodies? So Mama's gonna do one and you guys copy me, okay? Do that just three times. Okay, now we're gonna add on to Wait, it. You ready? No, I don't do it. You weren't ready? All right, I'll do it again. Ready? Just listen. Good, Silas. All right, I'm gonna add on to it. You ready? Ready? Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I like that stomp. Let's do it again. Wait, Bob. Wait, stop. Here we go. Boom. One, two, three, four, and. Kids love the patterns in jump rope games, or clapping songs, or songs that rhyme like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Can we all make up our own things to this song? Sure, we can make up our own things. Or how can about I if we do it, it all together? You want to do all it? All together. Twinkle Little Star. All right, let's do it with you. You ready? Okay. Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. Oh, I like it. Okay, so how I wonder what you are. <laughs> I like that too. All right, let's do Silas's at the beginning. You ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> Good job, you guys. So the next time you get one of those songs stuck in your head, remember, these activities are laying the foundation for greater pattern recognition and creation. Your kids are developing fine motor and gross motor skills. Who knew this play was so educational? Do you guys remember these shapes? We've used them before. Uh -huh. We've made patterns with them, but now we're gonna make musical patterns with them. How do you do that? I will show you. All right, so Silas has a little square. So the yellow square Me. is a clap. clap. After clap, we're gonna do. Okay, but just one sound. One clip. Okay, flat, slap. I think I'm gonna add purple. Purple? What That's do you want new. that sound to be? What if we rub our hands together? See what sound it makes. That's a great sound. Okay, flat. flat. Good. All right, now guess what? 
So what do we repeat? Clap, clap. Ready? Let's do it together. Clap. And Good, you guys. And now I want to add this at the very end. We can do a, a new sound. Bzzz. A buzzing sound. Bzzz. Bzzz. Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, are you ready? Simple movement patterns are the essence of dance. The counts one, two, three, four are used in dance as kids learn what comes next. You can do things like one, two, three, kick like we did, or other things like left, stomp, right, stomp, and repeat, making all kinds of patterns. What parent does not want their kids to get all of their energy and wiggles out by the end of the day? This was a great way to do that. After your kids have danced around the house, maybe you have a few older children that need a bit more of a challenge. Have them either write on a piece of paper and draw out shapes, or you can cut out shapes like we did, and have each shape represent a sound. Maybe you have a budding songwriter and they want to create their own music. Have them create their own song using the shapes. So turn on the music, make your own, and let the musical patterns play. Rock out with your kids and they are going to have a blast and have no idea that they are learning math skills for way further on in life. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.